This is Co Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com. Tonight I'm going to do a video on flashing the light on 360 DVD drive with a connectivity kit version 3 with the probe attachment. This probe will really help because you don't have to do any soldering on the drive. Alright, first thing you've got to get your iPrep 8.8 and get it started. Go down and load your Light On Eye Extreme firmware. Make sure your VIA controllers up here. Make sure to take note of this port, your primary port ID right here, my ED60. You'll need that later. Yours will be different than mine. You want to make sure your COM is selected, COM1 on your RS-232 cable your target drive which is G put a check in format and include batch files a check there and then click start right now I just want to give a thanks to Commodore Forever Caster Clutch and all the guys that make this possible for us we really appreciate it once that gets done close everything out power down the computer and boot up on your flash drive Right here I just want to go down and boot up on my USB flash. The drive is not hooked up or turned on at this point. Alright, right here at this command prompt, your C command, the very first thing, what I do is I put in D L I T E, which is what it tells you up here, then your serial. You'll probably want to use your serial number. I'm just going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, which would be the last five of your serial number. Right here, I'm going to stop. That's all I'm going to do. I want to do as little as possible one handed. That's ready to go. It's ready to hit enter. Now is when you want to hook everything up to the drive. I'm going to hook my cable up. I've got the probe. I'm going to get it turned on. And right here, I'm going to go on and eject the drive. I'm going to eject it, power it off, close it halfway. I usually go a little more than halfway. Power it on. And now I'm going to get the probe and get it in the 707 hole. Once you got that green light and got it in, you should be good to go. Now I'm going to go back. Now once we're here, I'm going to go on and reach around and hit enter. It says make sure you're on and connected. The whole time I'm holding this probe in the spot, hit the space bar. It's telling you to do what we've already done to eject the drive, close it halfway. So I'm going to hit Y and enter. It just pulled the key. It's going to dump the identify and other information. Firm tool is going to start. It built your hack firmware. Now that's done. I've removed the probe. I'm just going to let it hang down here beside it. Now at this point, if you don't have your original information you would want to pack down and make a copy of your backups folder on this flash you need this information if you ever want to replace the drive or if anything ever happens you need this you don't want to lose it I already have a backup of this firmware so I'm gonna go on and go straight to the flash like it says if you're ready to flash you can just go right ahead 
also uh, put in light. And hit enter. Now I haven't closed the drive or anything. The only thing I've done is move the probe so I'm not one handed. It tells you make sure your drive is on. It is, of course, it's going to be erased. And to say no on Magic 28 or MTK, press any key. I hit the space. It's erasing. Now it tells you to power the drive back off. So, of course, on the connectivity kit, I'm just flicking the power off. Give it a second. Cut the power back on. And then it tells you one more time, make sure you hit no on MTK or Magic 28. And when asked what to do, you need to select W for right and give it the name LITCFW.bin, LITCUSTOMFIRMWARE.bin. Press any key. It should hang at my second one. That's because I didn't undo the IDE drive that's in there, so I want to tell it no. Now, right here, you'll notice it says no identify possible. Well, that DD60, that I told you to look for in iPrep, that lets me know what number. That's my sixth port I need to put in right here. You need to make sure to remember yours in iPrep all the way at the very beginning when you're setting up the flash drive. So I put in six, hit enter. Now it asks what we want to do. Of course, we're going to write this time, so I put in W. It's asking what file to put in, and now's where we put in light cfw.bin. Hit enter. It'll double check the erase. It'll start writing the four banks. Once you get back to the C prompt, you're done. Put it all together, install it in your 360, and give it a try.